welcome to 12 days of famous I think we're on day six today and this is a video I've been planning to make for a really long time I've gathered bits and pieces of footage over the years for this uh, of different animals that we've seen living here in Feywood and I thought it'd be really fun to show you guys some of the different animals that we see around here a lot of different Australian animals and birds and things and it's it's been a lovely experience living here and to be able to enjoy the different animals that we see and then also I thought I would show you some of the uh, different weather and things uh, we have it's such a gorgeous view from our house of the trees and we often get mist coming through the trees like rolling through the trees and I just feel like all the different times of day and different weather in uh, this area it just looks so beautiful no matter the weather and I gather different snippets of things that I just wanted to share with you guys so without further ado I thought let's share with you some of the flora and fauna of Feywood <laughs> we often will feed these kookaburras from our balcony and they eat meat so we would get little mince balls and uh, just hold it on your hand really flat because their beaks will hurt if they snap you. <laughs> I don't know what this little guy was doing, but he was jumping up with the wings. Um, <laughs> it was like he was dancing. He did that for a good five, ten minutes. And occasionally we'll feed them seeds and things as well but we have to be careful because the cockatoos the white ones um, they are really destructive and if you feed the birds the cockatoos will come and they have ripped up um, at windowsills of ours all of the damage you see on the wood is usually the cockatoos so as soon as they come you've got to get rid of the seed A kookaburra. And this little echidna was so cute. He's come by a couple of times, so the footage you see are actually two different occasions, and this is the most recent where he's up close. He came all the way up to my feet. was so cute. Get those ants. Oh my god, that is the most adorable thing. Now you can't see my feet, but he is pretty much at my feet right now. <laughs> we also get a lot of wallabies coming by. Unfortunately, our neighbours have a dog though, and that dog likes to scare them off, so I think we don't get them as often as we would if that dog wasn't around. Now, this is hard to see, but we also get deer. And this is, they seem to go in couples, it's the cutest thing ever. So the male and female will keep together and go uh, and graze together and everything. And if you guys remember, we saw the white deer once um, on New Year's Day when we first came into the house, which was a massive omen for me. <laughs> Can you see the little guy, this little possum? This possum used to come by every night. We would hear him jump down on the deck. We'd hear this thump and this little scurrying sounds at pretty much the same time every night. It was so cute.
and there's one of them in the tree. And he would sleep in our little, this is a little birdhouse thing. And his butt would stick out the back because he didn't like fit in it. I remember <laughs> when we ran into the neighbors. neighbours chooks and sadly we lost Scooter uh, we still have Fizz gig but yeah we miss Scooter greatly I tried to capture that deer as it ran by, but it's so hard to get footage of the deer. Now this little guy was on the walking track I was on and I was like, I need to pass you, but I don't want to freak you out. Uh, so I sort of slowly walked up by him and he wasn't bothered by me at all. It's so pretty looking out at the trees from our house. The view's just so lovely. You can just see trees as far as you can, your eye can see. And in all the different weather, it looks different and just equally as beautiful. This is from my studio. Bit of hail. And sometimes we get a lot of rain. This was so much hail. I couldn't believe it looked like snow, but it is actually hail. <laughs> we have had snow here once too. Um, I didn't show footage actually on here of the, of the snow. There was only a few flakes, but I was chuffed because we never get snow. <laughs> Dan trying to pretend to catch the little sparkle. <laughs> hey guys, this is a walking track right near our house. Uh, that we've just recently discovered and it is just so pretty. Look at all the ferns. It's um, really green down here and uh, rainforesty and just lovely. I think it's going to be great for walking in um, summer because it's just so shady and um, beautiful. And I mean look, look how pretty love it down here so i thought i'd just um show you guys a bit of the rainforest down here 
Now, unfortunately, they closed this track when COVID hit because I think people couldn't really distance from each other when they passed. I'm thinking I think it might be open again, so we're keen to go and check it out. Now we do get a lot of spiders and I really hate spiders. They scare me. <laughs> So does this guy. <laughs> Some scary monsters sometimes. Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, as I say, it's been a long time in the coming, so um, I do hope you've enjoyed seeing some of that footage. I've definitely enjoyed experiencing it myself. Stay tuned for more videos in the 12 Days of Famous, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.